So uh, just for piggybacking on that, how do you typically handle, you know, those ups and downs, especially as creatives? I feel like we swing either we're on like Mm. a euphoria or we're like we're down in the pits, you know. So I'm curious how you manage these these swings of emotions that we, we so many creatives experience. I mean, I really have those days where I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I relate to that. And I think I'm, because, I mean, and I, I, I'm not ashamed of that because, well, I mean, we're humans. Yeah. We're humans. And especially, and I think, I think creative people are wired differently. I agree. Whereas where are, there, there are times when you just want to work and work and work. And I'm that workaholic also sometimes. <laughs> but then there are days when I don't want to, I don't even want to sing. I don't want to listen to music and I just want to focus on something else like my pets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. um, like, especially lately, um, there have been amazing reviews or amazing feedback on the EP, but there are also some people who are kind of not on the same page. Let's just put it that they're not sure. on the same page as, as we are with my team. And I, I can't help it. Sometimes I still get, despite all the many, many amazing, um, feedback, there's, there's, <laughs> I have that in tendency that there's that one not good comment and it ruins my day in oh yeah so there's a thousand good ones and then there's the one yeah and it's like for and some there's pre- one. Oh man 100 percent. It's, it's very very annoying yes. and that's why sometimes i just not to write i just don't read comments at all yeah but <laughs> this is actually funny because i mean it's leading up to it but, but so i was going through that phase in the last couple of days even when the ep was out and and I was with Dave and I was telling him, like, I'm just so annoyed or I don't understand why, like, there's these people who have sure. certain expectations and don't really understand. Don't really understand, but they have a lot to say. Yeah. But then they see all these things. And so <laughs> Dave put it this way that he said, OK, think of think of your think of your haters or your bashers as like maybe gray hair, gray hair. <laughs> so. Like, like example, if I had one gray hair, would you stress, would you literally, would you really just stress about that? Where you have all the other hairs in your head that's doing fine, or they're <laughs> still shiny, they're okay. And then another, another uh, analogy that he put in is like, think of them as pimples. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see where we're going with this one. <laughs> okay, so he said, he goes, okay, think of those people as pimples, okay? They're annoying they're useless but there's really nothing you can do about it Mm. it's normal to have it's normal that's why i need i need dave and people like that in my life because it's important to have people it's just really right and it's just these are the people that and i mean it's really dave he really helped me just go through all of this but yeah he puts out those different analogies for me to kind of make me feel better at the same time he really puts those points out yeah that every time i'm stressed stress about people he would say they're pimples babe they're pimples yeah i love <laughs> okay. it sounds like i need to set up an interview with dave man he's filled with all this wisdom you do you <laughs> do oh my gosh he's the best person to talk to and i guess that's why it was super easy to just collaborate with mm. him especially with me going into songwriting for the first time it was really just the two of us but because i was already um very comfortable or i just really trusted him with my thoughts already way even before um working on a song it was easier to just make mistakes or maybe because it was already with someone that i was already comfortable with Which that's I, why i feel is <laughs> unique actually because i feel like most people have trouble working together like that with with you know mm. someone so close and i actually find that I, mm. when, I, when i was hearing that when sergio was telling me when i was doing research and all, and everybody was in the comment section was telling me how you went about writing the ep I was I found that yeah. super fascinating because like I love my wife tremendously, but like to write a whole EP with yeah. her would be, you know, we've recorded songs together and it's it's difficult because because we we love each other so much we're not afraid to immediately say what we're we're thinking kind of thing, you know what I mean? Where yeah, it's like you know yeah. if I work with somebody else I'm like I'll say it in maybe a different way. <laughs> yes, so, yes. So it, I, and that I was, was surprised my tendency that. before. Mm. That was my tendency before when I started to write, wherein. Well, of course, before, like my dad would always push me to or try to encourage me to write songs. And then I would try. But then I'm always there's always that like filter in my brain. Sure. Like what will people sure. think? Or maybe I'd be judged or maybe they won't accept of me thinking mm-hmm. of things like this or something. <laughs> and so 
yeah, that way I guess that's why I really just struggled with songwriting before because I was constantly filtering myself sure. or blocking myself. And so right now I'm just learning to be more carefree <laughs> and just letting it all yeah. out. And if it sounds good, then good. If it doesn't, we'll find another way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just um, like navigating around all of that. It's really, I guess it's just really important to be, at least for me, in my early stage of, of, of getting into songwriting and producing, I, I really value the people that are in my team because um, I've just found it comfortable to grow with them mm -hmm. rather than I'm experimenting or even if I was, um, I'm just going into songwriting for the first time and then I work with other people. I think that would really be a struggle mm. because you you can't help but think, oh no, what is this person going to think about me? But of course, again, it's, 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 to different to each their own <laughs> to each their own and i personally just i love working with my team that's why here we are yeah. <laughs> here we are with all of it and you know what yeah. you, you guys hit a home run and knocked it out of the park it was fantastic <laughs> obviously you know like you know people's compliments are one thing but like actual physical mm -hmm. data is another thing you know what i mean like where it's like yes. hey you know like we could we could say as much as we want but like if it's not received mm -hmm. from the people that they like then then what is it even you know like so the fact that yeah. you know it's actually the people have spoken and it's you know, <laughs> on uh, it's you know trending or, or charting and that's that's impressive so i want to thank, thank you, you first of all for releasing the ep and, and taking you know the time to record it and you know it's a labor it's a labor of love people don't realize it's work it is. it's not just singing you know singing it's like it's work to sit and yeah. write music so i relate to that and i want to thank you for actually putting in the work 